felt peace. I felt、um, comfort, nurtured, and that was truly opening up to the universe and truly opening that heart and that mind and being with your true self. And I'm going to cry. It's a little emotional because it's so beautiful. Western medicine is being more of the physical substance, and、um, but it just doesn't get everything. I see a lot of cancer patients, and、um, uh, stage four. Oh, I don't know how long I'm going to live, and I just go, no, <laughs> don't believe this. I've seen so many people.、Um, So many people recover, and the doctors, the the surgeons, the Western medical doctors, they just scratch their head. Hi, I'm Tiffany Scruggs, and、um, I'm an acupuncturist. I live in、uh, San Diego, California, and I've been practicing、uh, Zerneng Qigong. Uh, five or six years, and I was exposed to Qigong and Tai Chi and these、um, other practices、um, when I was in grad school for acupuncture school. And、um, I've always been into fitness, cycling, and taught group classes and training people in the gym. But、um, I really was looking for something different, something softer, something、um, healing. From the inside, kind of like physical therapy, but connecting with yourself. And I really connected with Qigong, and in doing some retreats and different classes on my own, I met Reina Lerma, and、um, she actually introduced me to Zerneng Qigong、um, probably five, six years ago. Uh, Master Lu, he had a visit to San Diego, and this is when he started. It was. I'm getting my years mixed up, but he came to San Diego and was doing a、um, Chi Core Improvement、uh, Teacher Certification. So I thought, oh, this is what I'm supposed to be teaching next. And、um, instead of a spin class or you know just something that people could really connect with themselves and and heal and slow down in our fast paced world. And、um, And、so I did his、uh, Chico Improvement class. It was、uh, five days, full days, and then he,、uh, Master Lu, he's my inspiration, along with Reina and Alfie. But、um, after that, we had the five days. We had a five-day fasting retreat. Retreat. So I was with Master Lu for ten days and with practice, Lachi for hours. And、um, just the, his lectures, it really touched home with me because through some really difficult times, actually when I was in grad school, and I really had to dig deep to find something、um, to help restore myself for some things that happened in my life, and I found myself.、Um, Going to the beach every day、uh, for about three months for hours and hours and hours,、um, sometimes eight, ten hours, and I would meditate. And I found a way of meditation is just staring into the ocean, into the horizon, and just opening. But I found myself doing la chi for hours and hours. And I kept going back every day because I just felt restored. I felt peace. I felt、um, comfort, nurtured, and that was truly opening up to the universe and truly opening that heart and that mind and being with your true self. And I'm going to cry. It's a little emotional because it's so beautiful and this connection. And here I met Master Lu, and He was explaining why in his long lectures、um, why this works, and、um, I know why for sure because I I practice this. I just truly believe, and I mean it works. I'm walking proof, <laughs> and I feel very healthy. And even through the pandemic, through hardships, through through different crises, through pain,、um, 
I had shingles and I was able to take the pain away from shingles. I never knew pain like this in probably five minutes with Hun Wan Ling Tong. And I would just chant Hu Wan Ling Tong, Hu Wan Ling Tong. And to be normal, to heal, for pain, go away, to, to change it. And I know it works. And I share this with my patients that come in with pain and Hu Wan Ling Tong. What has been your experience changing um, your perspective with Chineng Qigong, you know, coming from a more Western uh, medicine background, how has Chineng Qigong changed your perception of how we perceive the two in conjunction with each other? I think of the Western medicine as being more of the physical substance. And, um, but it just doesn't get everything. You know, we can see in Western medicine, we now know that stress can cause disease, you know, it's the emotions, you know, we know this in, in uh, TCM and Chinese medicine. And um, I don't know, it just seemed that seems like um, some changes happened in my life, why I am no longer in Western medicine. I had an injury with my hand in doing sonograms for so long. And, and then I was going through some hard times again. And I found that my hand would get cramped, stuck. And it's along the meridian channel, the heart channel actually, which I had a lot of heart um, break and um, emotional um, sadness and things. So I had to heal myself and Western medicine did not have the answers for me. They wanted to just inject me with a substance that could cause something and um, so I feel that um, La Chi really helps some of these modalities that I found in, um, in going to school and to grad school for acupuncture, um, you know, learning uh, meditation and having acupuncture. I find that acupuncture works really well on the physical body. And, but, and also the energetic systems, the um, acupuncture meridians. Um, but it's lacking a little something else. And I think that we need to add our intention. And I know when I treat my patients, I add the intention. That's that extra um, element, which is the information substance. And so I feel that with the Western knowing the technicalities of the body and things like that, it, it helps um, It helps navigating with, uh, with my clients and people, the general public, because they know the Western, the allopathic, but now um, being able to combine that together with, I think just with them knowing that I know it, <laughs> or I'll share information. What about this test? Well, maybe you do need to go have a sonogram or a CAT scan. So I'm able to be able to share that with them, but also give the, um, change the mindset. And um, I see a lot of cancer patients and um, uh, stage four, oh, I don't know how long I'm going to live. And I just go, no, <laughs> don't believe this. I've seen so many people, um, so many people recover and the doctors, the, the surgeons, the Western medical doctors, they just scratch their head and um, saying, oh, that's great. And um, so I think it's really important to combine having the testing. Yes, listen to your doctors. Maybe you do need to have a little chemotherapy, but we can also practice learning Qigong, meditation, acupuncture, um, supplements, different things to help support the body. So bringing it all together, um, but the people need to do the work too. <laughs> I was curious, do you combine acupuncture with Chineng Qigong practice or has um, Chineng Qigong influenced that part of your um, practice, uh, your acupuncture practice at all? Absolutely. And this is a great question. And um, Zerning Qigong has completely changed my practice. And um, I think Number one is just really, truly connecting with myself and being able to learn ways to recharge myself. And um, 
to feel more with my my hands and and in using my hands um, to be more in tune with my patients. I find the more I practice, um, the patient doesn't really, my hands just naturally go to certain places on their body. And they're like, how did you know this? How did you know this? So I think um, your intuition, uh, things just, just happen and I get better treatments. Also, um, what do I want to say? I bring it into my practice in uh, allowing my patients to help with the treatment in connecting with themselves. Um, I use these uh, tuning forks and they're earth ohms, so it's the frequency. But just, I think people like these different tools, singing bowls, they, they like all these things. And sound is very um, popular, but I've been using the tuning forks. I use the earth ohms, but uh, the energy, the vibration, you know, I can feel we have that and we feel that as we do our practice in Qigong, feeling Qi. But as I use my tuning forks, I'll put it on certain acupuncture points, on Ba Wei, on Yin Tan. So opening your Ba Wei, this acupuncture point in the top of your head, opening to heaven, universe above, and Yin Tan, this is your upper Dan Tian. So I, I bring in these, um, this is the home of your mind, upper Dantian, and then coming to the, between the heart and the spine, middle Dantian. This is the energetic body. So I put the tuning forks on these certain points as I'm explaining simply upper Dantian, home of your mind, your true self. Um, you as a naked baby being born into this world and all your computer files combined in your intention. Middle Dantian, your energetic body, your uh, manager of all your emotions. And then I'll bring the tuning forks down to the navel, lower Dantian, which is the physical body. And then on the bottom of the, the feet, I explain bubbling spring. I like to use that uh, name because I say the earth is the bubbling spring. This is where you're connected to, to the earth below. So I use my tuning forks on these points. And this is kind of a way we begin a lot of our meditations in Zernang Qigong. And um, so it's essentially just giving a light little meditation and explanation um, with my clients. And, um, and then I'll treat them. Thank you so much for, for meeting with me today and sharing um, some of your experience. It's really been so eye-opening to me. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome, of course. And I hope we can meet in person someday and um, when things open up, but it was lovely. Thank you.